Now we're over at the Facebook group. Yeah. Now yeah, we're on the Facebook group. Yeah. God, amazing how quickly we can move. Yeah. Um, cool. So um, now for anyone who is hopping on to this from the Facebook user group and hasn't seen Watch everything the first that we, part. yeah, go over to YouTube, go over to Apple Podcasts, Spotify, yeah. all of the other different platforms that we host things on to. Pandora now. Musically, apparently, by the way, of my hands. Um, and go, go watch part one. Go listen to us on. Da, 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 da. <laughs> and um, go watch part one because um, it's going to kind of give you all the fundamentals of what we're about to talk about yeah. over here. Now, um, again, I, I already can kind of like I'm running all the, the logic through my head. There's no way even in the like 10 minutes, 15 minutes that we even have over here that we're going to cover anything remotely enough to for someone to go, okay, cool, I know everything I need to do and like dive in. So again, for everyone who's in the Facebook user group, make sure in in the um, the description of this, we're gonna put some kind of a link that will get you guys to the the webinar on the 18th of this month, February, 2021, right? I don't know. Okay, good. Um, so that we can, uh, so you can get the whole picture and the whole story. But, um, so we have Dylan Frost here. He is a uh, seller on Amazon himself. But again, to get all the background, go over to YouTube. But uh, now that we're here, okay, we've handled, we've checked off all the boxes, yeah. right? <laughs> It's a lot of boxes. It's a lot days. of boxes, yeah. Um, so Dylan, kind of what we want to get here is give us just something. Well, let me just say one thing real yeah, quick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just to give, if you haven't seen the first part, Dylan and his partner are brilliant architects of a new way of doing business on Amazon. And I don't say that lightly. I really truly mean yeah. it. Um, yeah. 100%. Car carry on. Yeah, so then in that framework, um, what we try and do here is give someone um, sort of a bit more of an insider tip. So maybe take one particular aspect and divulge drop, a little drop bit. Drop us a truth bomb. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So, okay, so I have a, a few uh, that we can cover pretty quick. So um, I told you in, in, the, in the last, in, in part one, I talked about how we had started with private label and, and mostly failed with that. So after all, all of our success with, success with reverse sourcing wholesale, we got back into private label. And now I'm doing these things where I'll, I'll we have a, a private, law, private label brand that's pretty successful right now, doing about a million dollars in sales per year. And we are also selling our competitors' products too. So oh, smart. that's I, awesome. I love them. <laughs> so I just have the the whole niche just like totally locked down, yeah. right? Um, and so, so we have our product and then I have I'm the an, an authorized seller, the exclusive authorized seller of one of our competitors' products as well. And I'm and that, and that's the thing too is like how they're they're a big brand, right? They yeah. they aren't really interested in selling on Amazon themselves. That they you know what they do is make products. They're not marketers. Mm -hmm. They're not retailers. They just make the product. They make the brand. It's you know been yeah. around for a long time, right? And so. Uh, I was able to, to leverage our private label experience and success being like, look here, here's what we did with our products. Um, you're, you know, we can help you Jeez. too. Yeah. I love it. Right? So, so now we just get to completely just totally dominate the space. Right. So you can do that. You can sell your, com you can sell some of the, the leaders and the competitors in the space. Right. Um, oh my God. Especially if they're like a huge brand, they don't care. Yeah. You just do it better than they do it or whoever they hired to do it. And they're like, yeah, do it. That's like, this reminds me, it's kind of funny. <laughs> this reminds me of dentists. Dentists are dentists, not business people, yeah, which is why right. they pay tons of money to have people run their business and consult for them. This is like, this mm -hmm. is, uh, it's ex the same scenario. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and then, so uh, another one is for anybody that's like have highly leveraging Shopify, and, and off Amazon platforms for their uh, for their private label products. Wholesale is great for that too. Uh, my buddy Will Mitchell, what he does, he, he does he does a lot of the same uh, reverse sourcing wholesale methods that we use, and he uses it to help supplement a lot of his private label products, or basically to open up the range of products that he can sell in his store. Right. So he'll do things like uh, he, let's say he has a baby pillow, right, just conceptually that he that's a big private label product for him. I have a baby he, he'll open up a direct wholesale account with like a really popular diaper brand like huggies or right. or you know some or, or some other more niche uh organic diapers you know what i yeah, mean yeah, like yeah, yeah. seventh generation yeah, like, yeah, there you go. whatever's, <laughs> whatever's popular at the time he'll yeah. open up a direct account with them 
and hit, that'll be his lead magnet, right? He'll run Facebook ads to try to get people to buy that product I at a really low it. price Jeez, or whatever. He's trying. He's like, he just, he's not even trying to make money. He's just trying to break even on the have the lowest possible price on those diapers. And he acquires the all the identities and yeah. And then oh his God. order bumps and his upsells are for his baby pillow. So it's just a way for him to like oh my target God. This, these Jeez. niches of people that are he, he knows are, are great potential customers and he's kind of just he's not trying to make be he's not even trying to be profitable on the front end with yeah that, just to, to fill a list and to get him with his order bumps he and does, stuff like yeah. that he like and to fill to. out the inventory of his store with a lot of name brand stuff because like when you when you are a private label brand no one's ever going to have heard of your brand right. when they click but if they see it intermingled with all these other name brand products yeah. it it's builds authority for yours yeah mm-hmm. They, 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 like the customer may think that you are some major brand yeah. because you're mixed in with all of them. It, 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 it helps that that sales. Yeah, it's the placement side well. of marketing. It's, yeah, it's positioning brilliant. and that's right. Yeah, it's the full blown art that is positioning. Yeah, and the thing is, like, I'm sure anyone who's watching this right now, because it's almost like it's almost like so stupid simple. You'd actually have to be a moron not to do it as a brand. Like, can you think of the marketing? brilliance of selling your competition as well. The game that you could get in to make both win by actually being able to market on both sides is freaking brilliant. I've touched on it, but I have never gone to this level. And this is another moment for me where I'm like, gosh, so many years of Amazon wasted. Yeah, and, or supplemental products too. Like, yeah. it, it, like you sometimes it can be harder if you're selling like the exact same product, but like, yeah. like supplemental to the market too. Like in that baby example, right? If you've got a baby pillow, and that's what your successful private label right. product is, right? Just anywhere else in the baby space, you're able to reach out to some some successful brand on there and be like, look, I have my own. I have a, this baby. This is my baby pillow brand. This is a success. What we've seen, and I believe here are as a list of twenty things that I think that are you guys could be doing better that could significantly increase your sales on Amazon based on my results. Uh Um, and I believe that's why we should work together. I should work together as a retail partner for you. Um, and they, they, they can see all the things that you did and be like, yeah, I want to, I definitely want you, you, this Amazon expert to run my, run our Amazon listings. Right. Like, and that's how it works. That's wild. So we, we, uh, one of our oldest, one of the things we do are supplements and one of our oldest accounts I'm about to, once all the lockdowns are (laughs) alleviated, I was supposed to go in February, but I mean in January, but I'm going to meet with our, the manufacturer to discuss completely handling everything in their inventory. So right now we're selling like three of their products. They've got about 50. So I'm going to talk to them about doing exactly what you're saying. So (sighs) <laughs> uh, my mind is blown. My mind is blown because like I, I've been I've been kind of like touching in the areas that you're talking about, but you just set it up in a laser organized yeah. fashion that makes me go, oh, my God, I should have thought of this stuff if I actually did the work on Amazon and didn't make my wife do it. Well, and the cool thing about it is once you identify a brand and they approve you, you'll, you're yeah. selling the product in like two, two or three weeks. I yeah. know. Yeah, I know. This is like they've already got all the lines, cut in, out the sourcing, blah blah blah. So it's all much done. time, yes. You cut out so much time, so much effort, so much yeah. uh, ramp up. It's yeah. just like yeah. as as you're falling through the air, you got to have your feet running because as soon as you hit the ground, you're off. Yeah, yeah. Because in case it's confusing for anybody, like when you you know we're talking about you, you get. You become the authorized seller of an existing brand, an existing successful right. product on Amazon, and usually one that you could that's doing good, but that you can help and make it great. Yeah. So, that, so that like, so, so day one when you start selling it, you're making, you're earning profit, and you're doing well with it, and it's like, so there, the floor of success is high already. Yeah. And then you're just trying to take it even higher. Um, so there's very little risk. You know how it's selling well. You're going to sell through your inventory based on that. There's it's it's even there's uh, it's gated effectively because they're yeah. telling everyone else no. They yeah, don't want right. anyone to sell it, but they've allowed you because you are you're you're different. You're, you you're you providing value. Yeah. yeah, right. You're providing value, so they want to work with you. Yeah. Um, so it limits who can even has this availability to have this this direct pricing and stuff wow. like that. Wow, that's awesome. And their product, the the product the inventory is domestic it doesn't matter where they make it if they it may be made in china but they've already moved it across the yeah. pacific ocean it's already yeah. sitting in warehouses in the us yeah so when when they they sell it to me 
Um, it's coming from, you know, a warehouse. Georgia in and Wyoming. Right. Yeah. yeah it's, <laughs> New Jersey. So, right. And, the, and then a lot of times, over 60% of the brands that we work with, uh, they just ship it direct to Amazon for us. Yeah, right. so, that's great. Like it just go like you know. Yeah, because it, it makes no difference. There. Makes that's, literally no difference. Yeah, that's become easier than ever. It's it's been to to have them do that because you just here you go. Here's all the get data. Done, yeah. Get it out. Yeah. Well, wow. um, okay, so it's so funny because like there's probably more questions now I, that I have I than know. I probably feel like I have answers. Yeah. But I think that's kind of the case because it's funny because like you get caught up in only one avenue of one one game, if mm -hmm. we look at Amazon as a game, right? And we're seeing like a whole additional piece, which is, it, it is independent in its own right, but also complements so well everything else. So um, here's what we're gonna do. We do have to end it off yes. because, um, you know, we have other things to do with our life. I don't know. I, don't I can't think, I actually do. really can't think of why we're getting off this podcast right now. Yeah. But um, no, we're gonna, um, we're gonna, Ended off here. Um, the cool thing is you guys are doing a three-part webinar on this I'm, I'm and sold. much more. Oh, my God. Talk about yeah. being seriously sold yeah, on this I'm, concept. I'm totally sold, man. Um, and that the first one is February 18th, 2021, since you know he wants me to timestamp everything I yes. say. Um, so we'll we'll get out all the details on that in the description of both the YouTube video and this. We'll have the link so you can get over there. Um, otherwise, that's really going to be the best way to get you know in touch with you guys because otherwise, I don't want 500 people you know sending you an email because that just sounds really dumb. Let's get them more What's information. What's your cell phone number? <laughs> <laughs> cell phone number, social security number, name of all your family members, all that good and stuff. And a couple of credit cards. And I'll a couple give credit out my cards. fax number. Yeah, yeah. right. <laughs> a, a what? A what? Five five five. All right, um, cool. Very cool, Dylan. <laughs> Again, thank you so much. Um, I, yeah, we'll definitely have you on again for yeah, sure. Yeah. Um, but thanks for the time. Thanks for literally blowing our minds. Yeah. And um, yeah, goddamn. Sorry. That's probably an inappropriate way of ending it, huh? Well, I guess it's up to you since you just did it. Yeah, right. Well, we don't cut. So I think it was cool. It was yeah. good, right? <laughs> Bye, everybody. Hot, hot damn. Ba boom. <laughs> And All right. Yeah. So like cut. and uh, share cut. with everyone. <laughs> cut. <laughs> Stop it. Like and share with anyone who is part of the Facebook group because guess what? No this is only available for Managed by Stats subscribers. Right. So you can use this. Say like, hey, listen. Guess what? Go subscribe to Managed by Stats, and you'll get access to this, and this will blow your mind, and you'll become a millionaire. So maybe it'll be worth it just to subscribe to Managed by Stats for that reason alone. Yeah. It's only it's only eighty nine ninety seven a month. That's to become right. a millionaire. To become so, a millionaire. Yeah, yeah. It's a very Small price. Actually, to pay. we could say that. Yeah. Yeah. It's feasible. Something tells me that Facebook would probably flag any ad we said that says that. But Facebook doesn't do that hey, to people. Whatever. Dylan, thank you very much. Uh, we will catch you again. Otherwise, everyone, thank you for tuning in, and we will see you in the next episode of Cheerio. Cheerio. <laughs> <laughs> AMZ Seller Real Talk. All right, guys. Bye, take guys. Care. Bye.